So the controversy surrounding Cuties just somehow manages to continue and thrive. It's been going on since August and it shows almost no sign of stopping. It seems like every week something new involving this controversy pops up. Like literally last week Netflix was being indicted by a Texas grand jury and now all of a sudden the Netflix CEO has come out and responded to this whole thing and it was only a matter of time before he did. Because ever since this whole thing started a couple months ago the CEO has been completely silent about it and he did not say a word until yesterday, he addressed the situation as well as say some really dumb shit while defending cuties, and I'm not even surprised because Netflix has been dick riding the shit out of cuties since this whole situation started and refuses to back down. Netflix is doing everything within their power to defend cuties, and the CEO only added to that, and I'm going to be making fun of what he said because like I said earlier, what he said was honestly retarded. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. Netflix CEO defends cuties calls the film uniquely misunderstood in the US. Now I don't think the film is uniquely misunderstood, I think that the film is uniquely understood for being what it is, a disgusting film that did not need to exist. Cuties was one of the few things that united the internet, everyone was pretty much on the same page when it came to the movie. We all agreed that the movie was absolutely sickening, well everyone except pedophiles. It's a little surprising in 2020 America that we're having a discussion about censoring storytelling <laughs> Oh my god, this guy makes it sound like we're the Chinese government censoring every bad thing that we find. We're not trying to censor storytelling, we're trying to take down a film that exploits children. There is a massive difference there. So don't make it sound like we're trying to quote unquote censor storytelling. You can tell the same story with the same message and show the same stuff, just replace the child actresses with adult actresses, and there you go. If Netflix had just done that in the first place, this controversy wouldn't have happened, or at least be as bad as it currently is. Sarando said according to Deadline, it's a film that is very misunderstood with some audiences uniquely within the United States. Okay, Sarandos, let me let you in on a little secret. The outrage is not just in the United States. Everyone is pissed off. Anyone with an IQ above room temperature can see what is wrong with cuties. The film speaks for itself. It's a very personal coming of age film. It's the director's story and the film has obviously played well at Sundance without any of this controversy and played in theaters throughout Europe without any of this controversy. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. Just because it's okay in Europe doesn't make it okay in general. That's like saying, oh I murdered a guy in Europe and no one cared, that means murder's okay, right? Like, it makes no sense. I received numerous attacks on my character from people who had not seen the film, who thought I was actually making a film that was apologetic about hypersexualization of children, decore, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that, told Deadline in September, adding she hoped the haters would understand that we're actually on the same side of this battle after watching the movie. Sure you are. You may say that exploiting kids is bad, yet you made a movie that exploits kids. Oh my god, dude. And those were just a few examples of the dumb shit that was said in the article, but there's a lot more which I am not going to go over because this video will be pretty long if I do. So if you guys want to read the article for yourselves, I will put the link in the description, but yeah. This controversy has gone on for so long and the CEO making a statement did absolutely nothing. If anything, it only added to it and honestly, I kind of want this whole situation to end. It's been going on for such a long time and it seems like Netflix doesn't want this whole situation situation at end for whatever reason. I don't know why, this controversy has been nothing but horrible for them. They literally lost 9 billion dollars because of it. And what blows my mind is that Netflix can easily end it. Like tomorrow they can put out a statement saying that they're sorry and they're gonna remove cuties. But no, they're choosing to dick ride cuties into the goddamn sunset for whatever reason. I don't know why, but that's just what Netflix is deciding to do. And we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. And that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out.